Tonight, Pinellas County leaders are considering changes that could impact your next call to 911. All new at 6, ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck joins us live in St. Petersburg. Sarah, this means some response times may actually go up, right? Yeah, it means that response times could go up about five minutes for non-emergency calls. But if they're only sending an ambulance, then that means that fire trucks like this could be free for more of those dire emergency calls. Dad's Christopher Douglas and Anthony DeFrisha have experienced the skin tingling fear of dialing 911. It scared me to death. And the frantic wait for emergency crews to arrive. Especially when you're calling 911. I mean, I don't know if time gets any more important than that. Luckily, help arrived quickly, but Pinellas County says too often emergency resources are tied up with thousands of less urgent calls. They point to one example of a wheelchair bound person calling 911 90 times. The reason an assistance to get up to literally not two flights of stairs, but two stairs. Now Pinellas County is looking into something called priority dispatch. <laughs> Bring up fire trucks for life or death situations. But St. Pete Firefighters Union President Richard Pauley worries it'll put lives at risk. I think that there's room for error. We definitely feel that uh, that people could fall through the cracks. Under the new system, 911 dispatchers would determine how dire an emergency is. But Pauley worries about callers conveying the wrong information. When someone calls 911, it's usually the worst day of their life. But county leaders argue it's working well in Hillsborough County and is no different from how police officers are dispatched. If you're faced with a burglar entering your house, you get an immediate response. If uh, someone broke in your house four and a half days ago, you know, perhaps it'll uh, be less of an urgent response. Now, if county leaders vote yes on this plan, that means you could see this changes as early as April. Reporting live, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.